Uh, you're gorgeous. Thank you. How are you? I'm alright. Why you got that on though? What do you mean? I'm not really dressed for a date. <laughs> I'm, I'm really just here for the free food, so. Okay. Are well, you be coming over after? Um, I don't really do that on the first date. Oh, 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 oh man. <laughs> I have to drop you right here, man. Oh, oh. No beat, no eat. <laughs> Alright. Nice All right. meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Have a good one. Unfollow me. Hi, everybody. Um, I was going to say my name is. Hi, everybody. Hi, my sugar bears. Happy Sunday. It is me, Leo Brown, and I'm only here just to do a My Thoughts video, a My Thoughts Let's Talk About It video. As you can see by the title, we're talking about dating, we're talking about sex, and we're talking about relationship building. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are not new to the channel, please do me a favor and make sure you like, make sure you comment, and most of all, make sure you subscribe, become a sugar bear. I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend, and welcome to our seventh day of August. I can't believe we're already in August. Oh, I can't believe it. Lord have mercy. We are, in, we are officially in Leo season. Uh, I'll be turning 41 next week. Anyway, but we're not long here about that. So, um, as you saw by the video, right? The video was titled, If We Were Honest in the Beginning. So, I'm going to break this down into three parts because I don't want to end up confusing the listeners. And no, I'm not on screen because I don't feel like being on screen. And um, two, I just really want you guys to hear me because I know sometimes my facial expressions can be a bit so I just want you guys to hear me out and let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna break this down into three parts. So we're gonna talk about casual dating, which leads into like sex and things like that, hooking up. Then we're gonna talk about serious dating, right? Which leads into relationship building, which hopefully leads into commitment, which will lead into a committed relationship, which hopefully may lead into marriage. Some of us don't want to get married. I get that. So before all y'all, well, you know, marriage up, listen, I know that some of y'all, y'all don't want to be married. Y'all don't want to have a wedding. You don't want to do, fine. I'm not saying that you, that, you know, that's the goal. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just speaking from, you know, my opinion and expressing myself. And if you agree with me, great. If you disagree with me, that's fine. That's what the comment section is for. So in the video, um, he picks up a woman and he's like, the man picks up a woman and he's like, oh my God, you look gorgeous. You know, and she's like, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, and then he goes, you know, um, but you're not really dressed for a date. And she's like, well, I'm just here for the free food. And then he goes, okay, you know, I can respect that, you know, so, you know, can I, are we going to go back to your place after? And she goes, well, I really don't do that. I'm just recapping. I know you guys saw the video, but I'm recapping. I really don't do that on the first date. And he goes, okay, well, I'm going to drop you off right here. No, you know, no beat, no eat, right? And she's like, okay, well, thank you. You know, um, it was nice meeting you. She gets out of the car and everything. And he was like, okay, well, unfollow me. And that's the end of that. And like I said, the title of the video was If We Were Honest in the Beginning. Now. Let's get into casual dating slash sex slash hooking up. And I don't know if those of you who are younger than me can relate to this because I'm in my 40s. Um, but for those of us who are 35 and up, you know, I, I, I definitely can. I, I think you guys can relate to what I'm about to say. So here's the thing. First of all, there isn't the wrong casual sex. I think casual sex is great. Um, I think casual dating is great, even. I think if you are casually dating, you, you know, your friends with benefits, you're hooking up, even though those are all different things. But I think that's great as long as you are communicating what you what you want and what you're looking for. And I think that's the problem. I, I think that's where we make a mistake. Now, this is where I actually do agree with the video, where if we were to go into it and say, listen, from the from the top, I just want to bang. I just want to get bust open. I want to bust some open. You know, um, maybe we can be friends with benefits. You know, every now and again, we go out to eat. You know, maybe we can casually date. But really, right now, I just want to get it in. I don't really want to commit to anything. I think it would save us a lot of time if we said that. Honestly. Because I, I honestly think that we, 
And I say men, women, and, and my focus right now primarily is the GLBTQ uh, plus community, okay? Um, because I'm also going to talk about something else, too. I'm going to talk about some other stuff as well in this video. So I think as long as you're honest. But I also think there's a way to be honest without being crude or rude. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't always have to come out the top. And, I'm, and, and for those of you who don't like offensive language, cover your ears now. Because I will be using offensive language throughout this video. I am custom. Okay? But you don't have to come out the top with showing me your ass or showing me your dick. I don't want to see that. I have those things. Okay? I have a dick. I have an ass. And it's, and it's very pretty and very juicy. All right? I don't need to see your stuff. Okay? Now, if you want to go, if, if you and I are hooking up, fine. Because that's what hooking up is. You, I'm going to see that if we're hooking up. But even in that, there's a way to go about doing it. There's a way to go about saying, listen, I think you're attractive. I think that physically you and I would have a lot in common. I think sexually we, we would be compatible because sexual compatibility is a thing versus gender people. It is a thing. And it isn't wrong being versus. We're going to get into, like I said, I'm going to digress a lot in this video. So just bear with me. But there's nothing wrong with, with sexual compatibility. But there's a way to do it. There's a way to come about it. Don't, if 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 if, if I'm on one of the apps, and I mean, and trust me, I've been on them all. I've been on Grindr. I've been on Scruff. I've been on BGC. I've been on POF. I've been on Jack. I've been on A for A. The only, I think the only app I have not been on, the only app I have never been on, I've been on Tinder. The only apps I've never been on is Christian Mingle. Shout out to my girl T.S. Madison and Farmers Only. Okay. But my thing is, if if you read my profile and it says, listen, I'm not looking for a committed relationship. I just want to get it in and have my fun. Right. But there's a way you go about that. You can you can at least tell me hi. You can at least say, well, hey, how you doing? My name is such and such. I think you're good looking. Can you open your pictures? I want to see what you got and see if you and I you know, could possibly get together and get it in, right? That's all you have to do. How you doing? You know, you don't have to go into a whole soliloquy, even though that would be lovely, you know, but there's a way to do anything. Don't just lead what you did. Please don't. Don't lead with that. Because that, for me, I'm speaking for myself, that turns me off real quick. It really does. Like, I don't want to see that. Like, I got one, baby. I got one. I, I know what to do with it. I know how to use it. OK. You know, and, and also don't request the first thing you're requesting is to see my pictures. For what? You don't even know if I'm going to like you. You don't you don't like you don't know if I'm going to like you. You don't know anything. So don't just do that and, and don't think that I'm automatically just going to drop my panties because I see you got a big penis. Listen, big is not always better, baby. Trust and believe. I am not a size queen by any means. It's cute to look at. I, it's cute to look at. It's cute to even play with. But if you don't know how to use that thing, what's the point? Just saying. Now, let's go into, because we, we went into the sexual thing, all right? Let's go into the dating factor. So let's say, like they said in the video, you know, you're dressed kind of funny for a date. You know, she's just here for the people. Now, here's where I get, now, here's where I'm going to get on her. First of all, and and let me be real. Have I ever done that? Oh, yes. I've dated a man just for the food. I went out with a dude just for, you know what? Quick story time. So there was this guy. And I can see his face, but I can't, I cannot recall the man's name. He was a, he was a white man. And I'm, for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm only like five for the one, right? So the dude that wanted to date me, I met him on an app called on a, on a website called Zoosk. I think it was Zoosk. Yeah, Zoosk. I met him on that, right? And he pursued me. I didn't pursue him. He wanted to date me. And I was like, no, 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 whatever, whatever. So I finally gave in. Mind you, he was older. I think I was, I wasn't too young, but I was, I was, I was old enough to know better. I'll say that. Like, I think I was 20, 
25, I think, 20, between 23 and 25. I don't remember because I because I'm trying to think of when um when did Lady Gaga come out in 2004 or five? I think it was 05. Yeah, I think it was 0, 05. I think. I think like please somebody refresh me on my memory because I don't remember. But anyway, it was when she was out, like when she first came out with, with Just Dance and everything else. And so he pursued me and he was like, I really want to date you. I think we, we would make a great match. So I'm like, okay, fine. So he wear me down. I was like, fine, we'll go out. Mind you, this man, I think, was in his 60s. Excuse me, he was in his 60s. Not that that matters. He was in his 60s. He was four foot 11, I think. Yes, honey, I dated a midget. And the only re and I was not even like remote. I'm gonna be real. I was not even remotely attracted to him. And the only and, the, and this is so sad, but it's true. The only reason why I even went out with him. Now, if you guys know of a, of a chain restaurant, right? And it used to be the shit in like the late '80s, early '90s. It used to be the shit up until like maybe the 2000s. And it was called the Olive Garden, okay? We all know Olive Garden. When you're here, your family, okay? Whole bunch of salted, just over-salted food and frozen shit and, yeah, right? And they just put it in a bowl, put some um, milk sauce on it and called it a pasta. So anyway, so they had this thing called the Never Ending Pasta Bowl. And the only reason why, and, it, and I remember this because it was in October, and the only reason why I even went out with that man was for the free meal, the never ending pasta bowl, and the pumpkin cheesecake. <laughs> Kid you not, that's why I went out with him. Okay? Didn't think he was smart, didn't think he was funny, didn't find him attractive, nothing, like nothing. No bells, no whistles, no, no, like nothing. No wind, nothing. Okay. No French horns, not a damn thing happened. And after the meal, which he paid for, I probably got up. And this was the days before Uber. So we, he, you know, he paid for the meal. I got my pumpkin cheesecake, which honestly, now I can make it myself. I know how to make it. But anyway, so. So we leave the restaurant and he's like, well, hey, why don't we go to a club? Let's go dancing. Now, mind you, I didn't want to end it. And this is going to sound so wrong for me to say, but it's true. I didn't want to be seen with him. My goal was to get a free meal. And that was it. So in regards to the woman in the clip, when she was like, I'm just here for a free food, I've done that. But that's one thing I would say that we have to stop. We have to stop that shit. If you know you're going out with a dude or a, or a woman or, whom, or whomever, you know you're going out with somebody, right? Be honest with them and say, listen, I'm hungry. I'm just here for the food. I think you're cool, but I really, mainly, I came for the meal. So, and mind you, as harsh as that is, because that video was pretty harsh, but you might as well just say that. Just say that, okay? Now, but at the same time, you shouldn't be playing games like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you should say what's on your mind. You should tell you tell the truth to the person you're dating. But don't don't lie. Like don't play games like that. Because there's another video, and I and I didn't include it. But there's another video of this man. He I forgot he like there's a video going around on the rounds of social media. This man spent over five thousand dollars with this woman. Right? Flew her out. You know, pay for the hotel room, everything. And he got mad. He's fussing, cussing, carrying on. He got mad that she refuses to sleep with him. You know, and he was like, you knew what it was. You knew what it was about. First of all, listen to him. Let me say this, because I feel like you're both wrong. One, women and men, and I include myself in this because I've done it too, quit playing games with your pocketbooks and your pussies. Quit playing games. You know off the top whether or not you want to have sex with somebody. You know from the moment you meet them. You know from the moment you see their picture. You know from the moment you hear their conversation. You talk to them on the phone. You know from jump whether or not, okay, you know what? I wouldn't mind sitting on this person's face or this person sitting on my face. I don't mind. 
you you know what the deal is. Quit playing games like that. Now, here's where the girl in the clip that I showed you guys was wrong. Why would you admit that you there for the free food? First of all, why would you have your own food? And why would you expect that? Now, mind you, I do get that if a person asks you out, they, they pay for it. That's different. But you shouldn't go into it. You shouldn't lead with just that expectation. Okay? Now, let's go into the man when he was like, well, you know, uh, when he asked her, well, can I go back to your place or whatever in the clip that I showed you? And she's like, well, I don't really do that. And he goes, well, no beat, no beat. You know, no beat, no beat. And I'm going to use that. I'm going to... I'm going to use that, but I'm going to use that in reverse. No eat, no beat, okay? Because, yeah. Anyway. Um, but, you know, he he tells her, like, no, you know, and he proceeds to drop her off. First of all, a woman, a woman or a man, is not obligated to sleep with you just because you offer them a date. Just because you take them out doesn't mean that they're meant to, to you know, get in your bed the next day. Or the next hour, or however long you guys are out. If that's the case, get you a prostitute, get you an escort. And let me and let me also say, I've done that too. I can I'm gonna give you another story. So um there was a guy that I was infatuated with. We had been talking, I had met him. He lived in Little Rock, Arkansas. His name was Marco. And um, yeah, and I'm yes, I'm calling names out because I listen, I'm real with my shit. So, anywho, so I met him once. We didn't have sex. We didn't do anything the first time. Like, like I bought him a birthday cake. It was cool. We had a really good time. That's a whole other story. I'm going I'm to I'm save that story time for another day. But anyway, <clears throat> so I said, well, my birthday's coming up. You know, I really want to see you because it had been six months since he and I hadn't, hadn't seen each other, right? Because he lived in Arkansas, and at that time, I lived in the St. Louis area. So I was like, listen, if you could go with me to three places, where would you go? And I had him pick. And I said, Atlanta, um, I think um, California was one, Los Angeles. And then the other one was uh, Las Vegas. And he was like, I'd love to go to Vegas. So here's my dumbass. I paid for his flights to and from Vegas, you know, to and from Vegas or from, ba from Vegas and back. I paid for our hotel room. I paid for all the food, like damn near all the food. He bought me maybe one plate of food, but that doesn't matter. And he even asked me. He asked me when we were talking about it, when I was so excited to see him. He was like, do I owe you sex? And I said, no. When really in my head, I'm like, motherfucker, yes, you do. Now, mind you, I was young. I wouldn't do that now because that's just rude. But at that time, I was like that. I was like, well, if I'm paying for all this, you got to give me something. Listen, that listen. The one thing I've learned, and the one thing I'm learning, is that when it comes to like casual dating or dating, we have to stop as a society, and especially in the gay community. Okay, this is why I'm saying this is for the, the G, my GLBTQ plus folk. We got to stop looking at everything as a transaction. We have to. We we really do hooking up. We look as a, we sometimes look at as a transaction. I've been guilty of that. I've been look, I've looked at my dudes, the dudes I've hooked up with as Johns. I have. They've never paid me for sex, but I'm like, okay, fine. I'm gonna give you your show. I'm gonna give you what you're looking for. I'm not gonna give you the real me. I'm gonna give you what you're wanting. You see what I'm saying? And not who I am. You see what I mean? And in this case, I did that. I was like, well, if I, you know, the transactional thing. I was like, well, if I'm doing all this, he gonna leave, you know, give me a little, give me some D. That never happened. And guess what I did? I left his ass at McCann Airport. I, I mean, was I wrong for it? Yeah, I was wrong as two left shoes on right feet. I was wrong as shit, but I did it, and I can't go back and change it. You know what I mean? And I know I fucked him over, and I shouldn't have done that. But that's the cause. Coming from an environment where I saw many men of my age, okay, I was in my 20s at the time, 20s or 30s, and I saw many men in my age group do that. They would literally use men, chew them up, spit them out, and keep it moving. And it was all, it, and it became very transactional. And so I was like, well, 
I guess that's what we do. Because I came out, though I came out when I was very young, and if you want to know that video, that'll be, that's in the playlist somewhere on here. And I may include it, you know, in here. But anyway, um, but though I came out very young, I didn't experience life or the gay scene until so I was in my 20s. So I didn't know. I can't, I was very naive and very, you know, wet around the ears. So my point is, in dating and casual dating and hooking up, just be honest. Use your words, but use them in a way that, like, because my thing is, we're all grown. We're all grown. Use them in a way that is conducive so you can get what you want. And learn to take rejection and just be like, you know what? Cool. Because rejection is often the God's protection. Trust and believe that. You know what I mean? Because that's one thing I think a lot of us, we don't do either. We don't learn to take rejection and say, you know what? Okay, cool. I probably am dodging a bullet, whether I know it or not. You see what I mean? And learn to get, and my thing is, when it comes, and even when it comes to casual dating, even when it comes to sex, even when it comes to looking up, learn to get to know the person a little bit. Learn to get to know what they're about, not just what makes them come. Please. Because chances are, there are other things about them that you don't know. You don't know whether they chew ice. You don't know if they eat glue. You don't know if they want to fuck in the morning. You don't know if they want to have sex at noon. You don't know. You don't know anything about them. Like you don't know. Okay. So get to know, get to know the person a little bit. Because even on a sexual level, there has to be some form of connection. It may not be a it may not be an intimate one or an emotional one, right? But there, but there's a physical connection. So even in that, get to know them, get to know their body, get to know what they like, and don't make it about you. Don't be so, because here's the thing, that's the one thing about casual sex and hooking up and even casual dating, is that we often go into it with our own motive. We don't tell the other person, but that's what we're doing. We're going into it for us, not for them. Because trust me when I tell you, I've been with dudes when it comes to the whole casual sex thing. I've been with guys where they didn't give a damn about me. They didn't care. It was all about them and what they wanted. And my job was to please them. And then the minute I started making demands, they went cold on me. And I'm like, but wait a minute. I'm in this too. What do you mean? You know what I mean? So even in casual dating, you should know what your partner enjoys, what they don't enjoy, things like that. And they should know that about you as well. It should be, you should both be on equal footing, in my personal opinion. Now, let's move on to dating, all right? So dating and relationship building. So I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to combine the two. So dating and relationship building. So like you're dating, and when I say that, I mean that you're dating in the hopes that it turns into a committed relationship, in the hopes of, you know, it turns into a committed relationship and then it progresses, it evolves into maybe a long-term commitment, maybe a marriage. Something like that. Maybe a long-term companionship. May not, it may not necessarily be a marriage, right? Now, so in terms of dating for relationship building, you know, we often hear, but don't go into it. Don't go into to things with expectations. Don't go into dating with expectations. Listen, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I'm 41. I'm about to be 41. I'm not having no, listen, I don't have the time, nor the energy, nor the goddamn patience. For, you know, oh, just trust the process. No. I'm not saying I want to marry you tonight. But what I'm saying is this right here. Here's what I would like from you. Here's what I would like from you. Here's what I am expecting from you. I'm expecting you to treat me the way you would treat yourself. I'm expecting you to be communicated with me. I'm expecting you to show me your love languages. I'm expecting you to show me your vulnerability. I'm expecting you to show me, um, you know, your, your likes and dislikes. I'm expecting, you know, us to have differences of opinion. I'm expecting us to argue. So, God damn it, yes, I come in with expectation. Especially at this age and stage in the game. I'm, I, don't have, I don't understand that whole, oh, no expectations, bullshit. If you are 35 and up, you deserve to, listen, you deserve expectations. 
I can see it if you were 25 and under. Because when you're 25 and under, fine. I, I get that. But if you're 35 and up, no, baby. I want to know what do you expect from me. So that way I can save you the trouble and I can save you possibly the pain. And I can be like, listen, baby, I can't do that. You know, I know you expect me to come through like Jane and, you know, and flip on the chandelier and, you know, put my legs up around my neck, you know, and bust it open. It. Like, but baby, I can't do that. I got bad back. I mean, I, I, you know, I got arthritis. I got, I got bursitis of the knees, honey. I can't do all those things. And, you know, I can't be cat woman every night. You know what I mean? Like, but not just in that, you know, I'm, I'm using it as a joke, but, uh, but in, but in everything. Like for me, one of my love languages for me is affection. I'm very much a touch. Anybody that knows me outside of this medium, outside of social media knows I'm very touchy feely. I'm very much a hugger. I'm very much someone that, you know, I'm a hug on you. I'm a hug your neck, as the old people say. I'm going to make sure, and, and another thing I am, is I'm an acts of service person. The first thing that you notice when you come to my apartment is, the first thing I'm going to say to you is, when you get, when the minute you cross my threshold is, baby, you hungry, you want something to eat? And don't let me like you. You might have a meal already ready. Just in the microwave. Just waiting on you. Because I want to make you, I want to I wanna let it, let it be known that this is what you will get with me. Not, now, mind you, I'm not saying I do this on the first date, so don't be hitting me up, be like, Ooh, Leo, you like, no, that's not, no. What I'm saying is, if I like you, and we've been out a couple times, and we get along, and we're great together, and you, you, you help me to evolve, and I do the same for you. You challenge me to grow, and I do the same for you. We, we, we've already crossed the threat, the sexual threshold. We already know that we like each other physically. So here's what I expect from you. Here's what you can expect from me. You know what I mean? You can expect me to, you know, text you in the morning. Good morning, baby. How you doing? You all right? You having a good day? I was just thinking about you. I hope you're doing okay. I expect from you, you know, I'm going to call you right quick and, you know, hey, what you doing, baby? You all right? You having a good day? You doing all right? Okay. Well, you know, don't worry. I'm I'm a, I'm a, um, you know, you're not doing okay? Okay, well, we'll talk about it when I'm done with work. You know what I'm saying? I, I want you to know what I expect and what you expect from me from the beginning as time goes on. Not right, not like from, not from the first initial meeting, because let's be real, when we first meet our potential suitors, you're not meeting me. You're meeting, the per you're meeting your representative. You're meeting the one that's always quaffed, Always on time, always on point, face is always beat, beard is always trimmed, lashes is always on. You not mean the dude that walks around in bummy shorts and a t-shirt. You're not meeting them yet. Right? But what I'm saying is as we get to know each other, if we're dating to build, right? I'm not saying if we're dating to just to just a bang, but if we're dating to build something with one another. I'm going to ask you, what do you expect from me? What do you expect to, to gain from this? And I'm going to ask you, the, and, 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 and I want you to ask me the same thing. That's important. That's very important to me. So that whole no expectation shit, that's bullshit. I disagree because, like I said, I don't have the time, nor the energy, nor the patience. Tell me from jump what you're looking for. Like recently, I went out on a date. And it was a wonderful day. Shout out to George. It was a wonderful, wonderful man. We had, he brought over a bottle of wine. We had Chinese food. It was wonderful. And this was, when was this? March, I think. Um, and I met him on Jackson. Yes, I am on Jackson. I'm on Jackson Scruff. Um, but I met him on there. And I was like, and at first, I initially was kind of weary about asking him out on a date. I was the one that was like, hey, instead of us just having like a meetup, why don't we have a date? Let's date each other. It could Because the way he approached me was so sweet. He approached me like a gentleman. And I'm going to be real. I'm an old school. I'm an old school. Okay? Don't, like I tell people, don't approach me with, with just what's in between your, your thighs. Approach me with manners. Good evening. How are you? I hope you're having a good day. You know, um, I like your pictures. 
You seem like a really nice person. I read your profile. I'd like to get to know you. See how simple it is? Because then you're giving that person choices. They can say yes or no or maybe or you know. Just saying. So fast forward. So we end up meeting up, having a wonderful time. But then that was it. I never heard from him, from him again. And I'm like, wait, you pursue me. And I understand that because he, he, he lived a very busy life and I'm going to give him that excuse. But at the same time, I'm like, wait a minute. But then he had changed his profile. He was like, I'm looking just to have fun. Okay, fine. You could have just told me that from the jump. And I would, and I probably would have been like, well, hell, let's do it. You know what I mean? But he didn't do that. And that's okay. You know, but I guess what I'm saying is go into a situation, if you're dating for more, go into a situation with your eyes wide open and not wide shut. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And also, another thing I want to say to my GLBTQIA people, listen. If you are 35 and up and you still mad about shit that happened to you when you were 17, I'm going to really need you to get it together and get some therapy. I'm going to need you to get to read some Yala. I'm going to need you to do something because I didn't hurt you. The world didn't hurt you either. All right? Certain choices, certain things happen in life. I understand that. We all have baggage. And speaking of baggage, if you are, even in your 20s, Everybody has baggage in this bitch. Everybody got blood on their hands. But you have to look at it from this perspective. How much are you willing to unpack? And how much are you willing to help get rid of? And how much do you want to add? Okay? We all have it. But if you're, like I said, if you are old, and I'm speaking to my old crowd, 35 and up. If you're 35 and up and you're still mad, about, mad at the world, I really need you to get some help. Because the one thing I'm learning and I'm noticing with people my age range, we bitch and moan and complain. Oh, I don't have no man. All men, all dudes want us to fuck. Oh, blah, 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 blah. But yet you posting thirst traps every five minutes. Yet, you know, like when a person does try to hit you up and talk to you, slide in your DMs. Because unfortunately, that's the way we meet now. We don't meet. Through normal means, like we use, not nah, I shouldn't say normal, but we don't meet through, um, what's the word, conventional means, like we used to, right? But a person that tries to, tries to get to know you, tries to, you know, talk to you as a person, oh, well, I'm not interested. Okay, but yet you complain about being single. What the fuck for? It's not that you, it's not that you don't want to be single. That's not what it is, babe. OK, let's call it what it really is. What it is is that you are not getting the picture drawn that you think you should have and you're lashing out on the world about it. That's what it is. OK, and you don't want to admit that, oh, all men want to sex. That's not true. There are a lot of men out here that don't want that. There are men out here that want to build families, that want genuine relationships, that want to, to cultivate things. I've met plenty of them. But when you say that, what you're telling me is the kind of men that I want to have sex with, the kind of men I want to fuck, don't want to fuck me. Let's call it what it is. Let's call it thing a thing. That's my girl, Leon LaVonza, I would say. That's what it is. Okay? And you may not be able to tell from my conversation, but I've been, I've been sitting on this for weeks. Because I've been like, well, maybe I shouldn't make this kind of video. Maybe it's but no, it needs to be said. It needs to be said. Okay? And then you have, oh, well, I'm 41, I'm 50, I'm 60, you know, and, you know, you didn't let yourself go. You know, you're getting all, you know, old and wrinkled and you don't care how you look, you don't care how you dress, you know, you're having health issues. You know what I'm saying? But, you, oh, don't nobody want me. Well, I mean, I hate to say it, but don't you realize that we are visual creatures. Men like what they see. Women like what they hear. And gay men are a mix of both. I don't care what nobody says. So it's not that you need to be skinny. Ain't nobody saying that. Because trust me, I'm far from thin. 
I am a far from senior person, baby. I represent the big girls and the big boys of the world. But it don't mean I don't keep myself up. It don't mean that I don't try to take care of myself. It doesn't mean that I don't try to eat healthy for me, not for you, but for me. Because I'm not out here trying to impress you. I'm out here for me. And if you're impressed by what you see, great. But trust and believe I'm doing this for me. And also another thing, you know, stop telling folks when it comes to long-term dating and dating for more, stop telling people what they want to hear. Tell the truth. When I ask you, if I ask you, where do you see yourself in the next five years? If you're 45, right? I'm for, I'll be 41. So say let, let's just say I meet a man, he's 45. And I ask you, where do you see yourself in the next five years by the time you get to 50? And you tell me all the things that, that I want to hear that sound good? No, don't do that. Because I want to know, what are you doing for you? Because trust me, all I'm doing is adding to your life, hopefully, if we go into a deeper realm of dating in a relationship. All I'm doing is adding to it. That's all you're doing to mine, right? So I want you to work on your goals for you. Not for me. Don't try to impress me. That's cute, but don't do that, baby. We're not in high school. We are not in high school no more, baby. You don't need to impress me. But what? Impress me that, that you have goals and, 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 and dreams for yourself and you're making them come true. And the same goes for me that, okay, well, I may not be doing exactly what you're doing, but I am doing what I want to do. And together we can make something happen. That's the point. I'm Listen, I'm not doing that whole, but let's build a business. Let's invest together. Let's take trips. That's the kind of love I want. We're not doing that meme shit. We are too old for that. That's cute. That's a cute little meme. And ain't no wrong with it if that's what you want to do. But for me, let's be honest here. You a construction worker. I'm self-employed. How are we gonna make this work? Okay, you you are a sanitation engineer. You you're not that good with money. I'm not that good with money either. I create this kind of fucked up. If we're gonna be in this long term, how are we gonna make this work? Let's sit down and talk about that. Let's sit down and talk about how we're we're getting older. Okay, do you realize that we are? And I'm speaking for me. When I'm nine years away from 50. If I'm dating a man that's 45, you're five years away. 50 is not old, but let's keep it real. What about when we get 60 and 70 and Lord and Lady, you know, if they allow uh, 80 and 90 years old, what are we going to do? You see? So you have to look beyond. The, I, I think when you're dating long term, you have to look beyond just what you're seeing right now. Yes, you should live in the moment. But you also have to say, if I see a life, if I see something with this man or with this person, I need to, to talk to them about, here's what I see. And is that what you see for us? Do you see that for yourself? What, what do you see? We need to find a common ground here. That's important. That's really important. Because I am, I when I tell you I am tired, I am tired. I'm tired of this. It's like, dude, like, stop. Get it together. And mind you, my shit ain't the best. Trust and believe. I got, listen, I have payment arrangements on top of payment arrangements. Okay? But what I'm saying is, if I'm dating someone long term and I know that that's what it is, let's work together to help each other out. If we know we're going to be in this to, in this thing for a minute, let's help each other. And if we do decide to break up, if things, if we part company, don't use that against me. And let me not use it against you. Well, if it weren't for me, you wouldn't have that credit. No, bitch, you didn't say that when you were with them. Don't do that. Don't have bad mouth them. Because trust and believe they were in your life for a reason and hopefully a season. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, now, I'm going to move on to a different topic. Okay, because I'm this is just random stuff on my mind. Yeah. Um, oh, let me go back to the hold on, let me go back to the video before I digress to something else. So, and then I forgot in the video, he drops the girl off and he tells her to unfollow him. Like I said, we shouldn't use our you know our body parts as bargaining tools. We like men and women need to stop that. 
That ain't cute. That's just my thoughts on that. Now, uh, I want to talk about something that's been really irritating me. Like, really irritating me. I am so tired of seeing, and I'm not saying that that my content creators, my white content creators don't do it, because they do, but I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of seeing, oh, well, you know, I'm tired of seeing dudes having sex in Walmarts. I'm tired of seeing dudes uh, having sex in the bodegas, in front of the cheese. I'm tired of that shit. Listen, I'm all for sexual positivity. I'm very sex positive. But let me explain to y'all, to some of y'all, what that really means. What that means is that when it comes to sex, when it comes to sexual things, it means that you don't turn a blind eye to it. You don't judge it. You don't yuck anybody's yum. You're like, okay, cool. You do you and fine. That's what sexual positivity means. And it means that when it comes to your own sexuality and your own sexual pro pro proclivities, I had to get it right, get it out right, that you have no qualms. You don't have any hangups. You're not prudish. And trust me, this is from somebody who is, who is in somewhat, well, who was and somewhat still is prudish in a lot of ways. Mind you, I have done three ways. I have been in some group activities. Uh, <laughs> I've done a lot of things, honey. You know what I mean? I've, I've made up for some lost time. But my thing is, this whole having sex in public shit, shit I'm going to need y'all in filming it. I'm going to need y'all to stop that shit. Because trust me, if you're at my Walmart or my Kroger or my local bodega and you're doing that, oh no, it's I'm, I'm fighting you. I'm fighting you and the cameraman. Because they don't mean that. I, like, stop this shit. That, that, that does not give you the right. Because what if, what if there are kids walking by? Kids don't need to see that. And it doesn't matter if, if you're gay. It don't matter if you're straight. It don't matter if you're bisexual. It don't matter. None of that matters. Because I know people, well, you know, you just, that's, they just coming for the gays. No. It, I don't care. I wouldn't give a damn if it was two women. You still don't do that. That's indecent. I don't need to see that. I'm shopping for, listen, I'm shopping for apples and oranges. I'm trying to make some clothing oranges and some spiced apples for the you, and I got ass in my face. I don't want to see that. All right? I don't want to see you out here, you know, sucking dick and, you know, busting it open and getting it bust open in, in the middle of my bananas, bitch. I don't want to see that. Okay? I'm trying to get my bananas for my series. So I can get my fiber intake. So I can do those things that I'm seeing you do. But I don't want to see you doing it in public. And then my last and final thought. So there was this picture of this guy. I actually, I'm going to use it too. There's this picture of this dude. He was, he was a teacher. And I think he was based out of New York. And he took a picture of himself in his poom poom shorts. And those were his words, not mine. Okay, and he's like, no kids were home, you know, we're in the classroom. First of all, sir, you are at work. You are at work. Let me repeat that. You're at work. Have some professional decorum about yourself. Have some self goddamn respect for your job. I mean, and since then, people got on his ass. I've been one of them. And he since has deleted his Twitter account. But first of all, if you know it's wrong, why are you doing it? Like, we're, we're that desperate for, for likes and views and clicks um, and retweet, we're that desperate. That's what we're doing. Like, I'm, I'm off it. I'm so tired of this bullshit. I really am. Like, and then and what makes me even madder about it is that it's people that are my age. It, like, I get it if you're in your 20s. Like, you 20, 25, 26, you 19, you 18. I understand that. When you're that age, you do dumb shit. Trust me. I remember my 20s and 30s even. I did a lot of crazy shit. I can't regret it because I did it and it's done. But the point is, when you get a certain age, because I guarantee you, the man that was in that, in, in that, 
particular picture was at least, mm, I would say maybe mid, early to me in 30s, maybe 40s. So you know better. You knew what you were doing. You knew. And people were telling him in the comments, you might want to delete this. Because don't you realize that your job is watching you? Whether you know it, I don't like, I don't care what nobody said. Luckily for me, I'm self-employed. But even, but even if I weren't, even if I did have a job, right? I had a job where I wasn't self-employed. So self-employment is a job. But even if I weren't self-employed, I still wouldn't do that. Because I know work me and play me are different people. I'm not gonna pose in poom poom shorts at my job in the classroom. Same thing with the teacher, with the woman that was a teacher giving head on social media, on Facebook, I think it, I think it, what it was. And she got and she got mad and she got fired. Bitch, you should have got fired from your job. Your job is to teach. Once you become a, 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 a person of employment, a person of, of somebody's employee, you are lock, stock, and barrel. And trust me, they, they look at your social media. They look at the things you do. Everything you do, everything you say. Because guess what? You represent not only them, but you represent the company. Well, I'm at home. It, that, don't matter. that don't mean a goddamn thing. You still work for them. So I, I really, I'm like, I'm going to really need decency and common sense and morals to come back. And extension cords and house shoes. Because I'm getting, like I said, if I see that on my watch, if, if that comes across my doorstep, you know, I see somebody getting it in in the middle of Walmart near the Kit Kat section. It's, it's October. I'm trying to eat my chocolate. And I'm seeing you getting it in in the Kit Kat section. Oh, it's going to be on like a flight like butter popcorn. Oh, you're going to get it in. You're going to get a viral moment. But it ain't going to be the kind of moment you like. Because trust me, I'll become a black mother in a minute. And I will pull out my extension cord and do what I have to do. And mind you, I'm not about beating people up. I'm not about violence. But on that day, I chose that. So with that being said, I mean, what I said, I just had to rant. Had to get, up, get that off my chesticles. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. But comment below. Like, because I really want to know. Like, for those of us who are 35 and up, even hell, even the even the ones who are who are not, I want to know: Is it harder for y'all when it comes to dating, when it comes to casual dating, when it comes to dating for more for relationship building, you know, for marriage? Is it is it just hard all around? Leave your comments below. Tell me your thoughts about this. You know, am I being silly with what I'm saying? Because like I said, I'm saying it for the GLBTQ community too, because it's, that's the community that I know. You know, but I want to know from everybody, is it, is, am, am I being silly? You know, like, were they right in that video? If things were just more out in the open, were they right? Like, I, what say you? Because I think they were right, but I also think the way they went about it, I think they were right with being honest, but I think they were wrong in the way they did it. But that's just me. I just had to get it off my chest. I hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday thus well. Now it's Monday. Monday thus far. And I will talk with you all later. Have a great one. I love you all, my sugar bears. Bye-bye.